In this video, we use the term deaf with a lowercase d as an umbrella term to describe those who identify as deaf with a capital D, deaf with a lowercase d, hard of hearing, late deafened, and deaf disabled. The term hearing will be used to describe individuals who do not identify as deaf with a capital D, deaf with a lowercase d, hard of hearing, late deafened, or deaf disabled. While the term deaf with a lowercase d is often used by hearing people to denote an auditory medical condition, we use deaf with a capital D as an individual's identification with the deaf community, deaf culture, and the use of American Sign Language. The term autism refers to a form of prejudice, discrimination, or oppression that is directed toward individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing. And it's based on the assumption that hearing is superior to deafness. Autism can manifest in many forms, including assuming that deaf individuals are unable to lead successful and fulfilling lives. In contrast, the term deaf gain is a perspective that views deafness as a cultural asset rather than a deficit. It recognizes the value that the deaf community and its culture brings to society. This perspective challenges the dominant narrative and the dominant hearing-centric view that sees deafness as a problem that needs to be fixed. Instead, it recognizes the strengths and advantages that come with being part of the deaf community and being raised in deaf culture. Bridging cultural gaps between deaf patients and hearing medical providers requires a mutual understanding and respect for the perspectives and experiences of both groups. It is important for medical providers to understand that deaf individuals are not just patients with hearing loss, but members of a unique culture with their own languages and experiences. So my name is Dallas Only and I am hard of hearing, but I also mostly label deaf because even though if my croaking part is on, it doesn't mean I can hear everything. I can hear about 60%, 70%, but I still can hear, but I can talk a lot, but I was growing up all. And then I can do things that some deaf people can't do, but it doesn't mean I'm hairy and I'm so deaf. I like to label myself hard of and deaf.